Right this time, a quick speed shot. We're dressing up the front of the Model A hot rod shop truck. We're going to fill the hole in the radiator and add this cool hood ornament. It kind of gives this thing an Art Deco look, and it's all going down right now at the quick speed shop. I'm a professional. Don't try this at home. Okay, we're back at it here on the Model A Hot Rod Shop Truck. I've got this Ford, this is a commercial truck grill shell. I'm not sure if it's a 33 or 34. The grill is inset back in here under the lip of the grill shell. I think it's a 34 because I think that's the ones where they laid the grill back. And the 33 is just a little, I think, I think this is a 34 where the grill bar is laid back. The other one, which I think is 33, the grill bar is more out to the center. And on this peak of this grill shell, there's some trim that goes on here. And I've got one here from the side. It's missing the, the Ford emblem. So here's the trim on here. You can see I can put my finger up under here. It doesn't fit very good. But there would be a big 33, 34 cap that would go on top of this. But I don't have the Ridge style radiator that screws on. I got a, a Ford truck radiator under here from a 79 F-150 with a six cylinder. So there's nothing to put this cap on here and, you know, missing the Ford emblem not fitting right. I mean, I could leave this hang down over here, but it doesn't fit right. So I can't use this, but I like the detail of the sheet metal here. So I want to do two things. I want to fill this hole in, but not with the welder, just make something removable. And there's an indentation here and a screw hole. So I think I can cut out a sheet metal uh, disc with a tab on it and use a little, a little screw and screw a piece of sheet metal down over this hole just to fill it in. But then I got this trim hole up here and I've got an idea what we're going to do with that. Hold on a second. This is a 37 Ford car hood ornament. All right, bam, here we go. I just happen to have a 37 Ford in the garage for uh, demonstration purposes. So this is the hood ornament, like I was telling you. And what it does is you turn it to the driver's side like this and it unlatches the hood. And then you open the hood up like that. It's got a cool little latch that grabs down here on this pin. So I think it'd be cool to have this Art Deco look on the front of the truck here. It's a nice shape and uh, it's super cool on a 37 Ford and we're going to put it on the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck. So it's got a long shaft here. That's what she said. It's got a long shaft and I want to do something like this with it, but this is back too far. So I want to take this hole, this, this hole here in the front of this. I want to drill this out the half inch, which is for the size that the hood ornament is. And I want to put the hood ornament down through the hood or the radiator shell and mount this 37 Ford hood ornament up here on the front of the truck. I think it'd be super cool. It'll, uh, it'll sit about this high. It's going to be Art Deco looking. And it's really going to match the shape of the nose and it's going to be something different. Put a little bit of flare on the front of the truck. So I'm just going to drill that out the half inch and the hood ornament's going to mount right in this location. The front of it will just be behind the tip of the grill, so it's going to have a nice flow look into it. And the tail of it is going to be back here into the hood area. Just a little bit, about about two inches into the hood, but it'll cover all this up, and I think it'll be super cool to put on here. Right, here we go. Sure I don't hit the radiator. Man, that pretty much installs itself. So I think that's a super cool look. It's super uh, deco and it, it flows real good with the shape of this grill shell. Man, I think that's super awesome. Look how uh, streamlined it. it like ducks right up over here and it flows good to the hood. It's super, super trick. Get down in there. But this looks awesome. It lines right up with the, with the hood there. The only, the only problem I, th I thought about this is the hood can only open up to here because it hits the tail of this thing, right? So what am I going to do about that? I think I can take and put a spring on the shaft of this and spring load it. So when I want to open the hood side one or the other, I can just take this and swing it out of the way like so. And then that'll allow the hood to open up, open up all the way like this to work on things. 
So pretty much the same idea as on the 37. Instead of being a latch, it'll just it'll just have a a, a spring on on the shaft. We'll use a nut and, and spring load to put spring tension on. It. So spring tension will hold it in place. And then you want to work on it, you just swing it over one way or the other way. But this is super awesome and with this crank hole filled in. It gives this thing a complete Art Deco look of speed and uh, it kind of fits the whole motif, the wide, the wide part of the, the 34 grill shell here. It uses the body line of this and it, that's super trick. So I think it's going to be awesome. But I think that's super cool and it's going to be really neat on the front of the truck. What do you think? Comment below! Alright, I figured out how I'm going to do this. I ended up uh, making two rubber grommets to fit on here, and then I got this metal sleeve that's going to cover the cover the uh, extra long action of the uh, hood arm here. So let me take this apart and I'll show you how it's going to work. I got a big washer to spread out the load of the sheet metal back here so it doesn't fatigue it. The rubber will allow this thing to rotate when I need to open the hood. Also keep it from uh, sliding around, but it's going to sit right down here like this. The rubber will mush down and take up the, the slight difference of the angle of the grill shell when I bolt it down, and then it'll it'll still allow it to pivot like I just said, like this. So I can open the hood all the way. So this is pretty much all set up and done. So now we're going to make this piece here. The first thing I'm going to do is get some cardboard, make a little template. I measured a hole. I know it's two and a quarter, so I got a piece of two and a quarter inch exhaust tubing. I'm going to use that to draw a template on a cardboard that I'll include this little uh, wing ding here. And I hit a piece of steel. Where is it? Oh no, I've lost it. Right, here we go. I got a piece of eighth inch plate. And I'm just going to make make this filler piece out of this. So we'll make that template and I'll draw it out on here. I'm going to have to use the uh, Sawzall and cut around it. This would be the hot ticket if you had like a bandsaw. You could saw around it. But I'll cut it out with the Sawzall and then sand it to fit. And it'll make a nice little, uh, nice little cover for this to go right in here and fill this hole up. So here I've got a piece of two and a quarter inch exhaust tubing. This will get us going. Oops, let's use a straight cut end. This will get us going here. Let's make a little uh, circle around it. Then I'm going to leave a tab on here for now, just large like, and uh, trim it to fit. Oh. Now let's take that over to the grill shell and we'll look at it. Here we go. Nice. Man, this, if we had to weld this shut, this would be like the perfect piece to weld it shut there. And we're sneaking up on it now. This fits down in here nice. That's got a real good fit. And when you bolt this piece in here, you'll still have this double reveal. It'll just add a little bit of character line to this, and then we'll just use a real small screw to hold it down here. And it'll be thick enough where it should should be fine. It'll bolt right in there like that, and it'll end up looking awesome. Or I could just glue this in here and paint it flat black, and nobody'll know the difference. I can use two edges here. You gotta leave some material up here. The rest of that. Oop. Bam. So now I'll take the saws and I'll saw saw this out with the saws all best I can, and then uh, have to use the grinder and sneak up on it here. But I think that's going to make it. Be able to make it out of this piece, no problem. Looks kind of like a. Uh, hold on. What if we added? Look at that! That's crazy. Hope the mouth went out to the edge. 
That's funny. That's not too bad of a sawzall. Got a little guy here. I'll just clean it up with a grinder and a hand file, and I think it'll go right in there. Or I can make new metal uh, pins, put on a pin of a face guy here. Nice. See how he's doing. Oh, and he's getting close. Look at that. He's getting close. Looks like I just gotta take a little bit off all the way around. The nose, the nose I think is good. That seems to fit down in there good. So if I just take a little bit more off. I think we got it here. Bam, look at that. Perfect. That fits right in there nice. So what I think what I want to do is I take the grill shell off. I want to mark on the back side, drill the hole for the for the bolt. And I think I'm gonna just put this cut a head off a bolt, and just weld a stud in here. So this thing will be completely smooth on the top and just put a nut on it from the bottom side. But that, that'll fill up this hole perfectly. Then I'll just paint everything and uh, you know it'll it'll pretty much disappear in here. That's pretty cool. I like my little guy. I had to redraw him back on there because he got all wore off during the grinding process. So what we'll have is this. Bam. Bam, just like that. That's going to be a pretty clean look to the front of this. You know, the radiator cap hole will disappear. You'll have the detail line of the grill and then you'll have this cool Art Deco 37 Ford hood ornament on here showing the way. And I think it's really going to be slick on the front of this truck and uh, just give it a little a little bit of vintage action. So I think the next step is to pull the grill shell off. i got to finish the grinding up on the bottom where I sex sectioned it uh, in one of the previous videos. But when I got it off, I can drill this and mount this up and get this ready to go and get this ready to be painted. So uh, just a neat little side project here. A little trinket work on the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck. I think it's going to look pretty cool to have this thing dialed in like this and uh, make it just a little bit different. It already is pretty different, but making it more different. So I, I painted the, the turn signal marker lights. They're back on here, the housings. So I gotta get the wiring for that hooked up once I get the grill shell off. And uh, I think the next one of the next things I gotta do is I just gotta sand the hood, paint that flat black, and then uh, take these side covers off and grind the welds down and get those all smoothed up and get this thing all, all painted up black, flat black up on the front. This will be flat black here. And then I'm going to paint these grill bars green to match the uh, visor on top of the roof. Well, that'll pretty much wrap up all the sheet metal work is just to get this done in the front um, for the for the open wheel look. And then what I've got to do is start building the the fender apparatus. So I want to hang the rear fenders. I got to build some spacers for those. The front's pretty much all bolt-on stuff. I can take off this headlight bar and the shock mounts, put on the the fender braces. The front fenders are ready to hang right, right then. And then I've got to build custom running boards and custom frame brackets to hold the running boards um, to, to tie into the rear fenders. So, so that's going to be a whole bunch of work. You know, We're real, real close to getting this thing drivable. Just a little fun stuff today, but that's about it. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm putting out new videos every Wednesday and Saturday. Hit the bell for alerts. Tell your friends. And we'll see you right back here at the Quick Speed Shop. Finishing up. Blow the trinket and detail work on the Model A Hot Rod Shop truck.